What's up, everybody? Back again. This time, the horror pack attack is back, Jack. Got me a horror pack first time since I don't know January, I think. It's been a long time coming. Go away, G Gizmo. But yeah, I, I missed horror pack. I didn't stop because I didn't like it. I stopped because uh, money. I had to save money and stuff. And then yeah, I've been on YouTube. In case you know, because. Uh, my last phone was a piece of crap, so I had to buy a new one. Boom. So yeah, but now, here we go with full pack. I think I'm going to try to stick with them for a while this time. Um, if you don't know what horror pack is, it's a monthly subscription service. 25 bucks shipped for Blu-rays, 20 bucks shipped for DVDs. And the Blu-rays are always going to you to have an exclusive, like a horror pack exclusive. Horror Pack Limited Edition, you know, something that's only in the Horror Pack. So let's go ahead and start out with number one. We got the Hollow. I don't know if I've seen this. Have I? Mm, I've always seen it around. I'll watch it. Maybe it'll be like, oh, I have seen this. I'll check it out. Uh, scary and gorgeous, one of the most visually engaging and starkly terrifying monster movies in real- Ooh, monster movie, huh? Hmm. Nature has a dark side. Cool! The Hollow. Check it out. Alright. Ooh, we got a slipcover. Nice. Dead Again in Tombstone. With Danny Trejo and Jake Busey. <laughs> um... Is this a sequel? Or is this just another random Danny Trejo Western? Oh, no one gets to rest in peace. Oh, Returns from the Dead again in Action Pack Western. Okay, so it is a sequel. Didn't we get the first one? Or am I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Dead again in Tombstone. Oh, another reason why I'm getting horror packs because I'm on a uh, podcast called Outsiders of Horror, and it'll give me something to talk about when we talk about current watches and stuff. Outsiders of Horror. Plug. Let's see. Let's see here. Live Scream. This looks cool. The Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray, number 37. Check out that cover. For the gamers out there, this looks cool. I like the reds and blues. Live scream. Huh. Every day, loving fans watch Scott Atkinson play games online. After a lifetime of failures and false starts, streaming games is the only thing he's good at. The mysterious horror game is sent to him by an anonymous fan. At first, he thinks the game is a low-quality indie title, but when he... His followers start dying one by one. He soon realizes the game is far more sinister. Now Scott will be forced through nine levels of video game hell, each level representing a different horror game niche in order to walk away alive. It might just cost him his fans and his soul. Wow, I'm definitely going to watch this. That sounds like uh, stupid fun, you know? <laughs> Sweet. I think I might watch this after I record this. And then, last, we have The Mind's Eye. I remember reading about this in, uh, what's that magazine? Not Fangoria, the other one. Shit, 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 shit. Rue Morgue. Yeah. Because Rue Morgue has always been like a, a toilet read for me. And I remember reading about this. I think it's on Shutter now or something like that, but I just haven't stopped to watch it. But now that I got the Blu-ray, I'm definitely gonna check it out. The Mind's Eye, the best scanner sequel we ever got, because I guess there's more head explosions and all that shit, you know. So yeah, four movies I haven't seen. I mean, the Danny Trejo one. Danny Trejo is badass, but I don't like westerns. These three I'm interested in. The Hollow, I'm pretty sure I've heard good things about it. Uh, I'm really excited to watch this. I'm about to put it in my my Xbox right now. Ironically enough. To watch the movie. Live Scream. Horror Pack exclusive. And 
the mind's eye, which I've heard mixed things about, but I like to form my own opinion. So yeah, there's Horror Pack. Let me know what you thought. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Andrew Fay all day. Follow Outsiders of Horror at Outsiders of Horror. Don't disturb the peace. You know what to do. And I'll check y'all later. Late. <laughs>